Welcome to NCSA 2020 Virtual. Hello, my name is Henny Wang. I am a PhD student in sociology at the University of Pittsburgh. Thank you very much for having me here. Today, I will be presenting on my uh, study, Returning to Demonstrations, a multi-level analysis of obeyant protesters across 84 demonstrations in eight European countries. We know that social movement participants are not a homogeneous group. People protest for different reasons through different mobilizing channels and in different patterns of action. My study focuses on a specific group of protesters, those who were active in protests in the past and returned to demonstrations after temporary leave. I call these demonstrators obeyant protesters. This study aims to explore whether and how obeyant protesters are different from people who have never engaged in demonstrations before, which I call new protesters, and people who engage in protest activities consistently, which I call established protesters. Scholars find that new protesters are distinct from established protesters in terms of their biographical availability, instrumental motivations, collective identity, organizational membership, and, and mobilizing channels. But we do not know much about people who fall between those two extremes, people who have some protest experience but do not protest consistently. I hypothesize that abandoned protesters are different from new and established protesters in six aspects at the individual level. Social networks, grievances, perceived efficacy, ideology, social demographic characteristics, and political background. Moreover, at the mass level, protest issues mobilize and hold together different types of protesters. Research shows that old social movements are dominated by male left libertarian working class from the older generation. New social movements attract middle class protest, uh, middle class post materialists and social cultural specialists while less embedded in formal organizations, but tend to be more active in non-institutionalized political participation. Anti-austerity protesters' um, characteristics and ideologies seem to fall between those from old social movement participants and new social movement participants. Here, I hypothesize that compared to new protesters, abandoned protesters are more likely to be attracted by protests in anti-austerity social movements. Well, compared to established protesters, obeyant protesters are more likely to be attracted by protests in new social movements. Lastly, individuals' patterns of political participation is also influenced by the macro-level context in a given society. Political opportunities, cultural opportunities, resources, and political culture all shape the ways in which citizens participate in contentious politics in this country. Therefore, I hypothesize that after individual level and demonstration level factors are controlled, there are still some country level differences in individuals' pattern of obeyant participation. To examine the role of obeyant protesters, in this study, I used called in the act of protest contextualizing contestation data for this study. This data is also called the CCC data. The CCC data was collected in eight European countries, including Belgium, Czech Republic, Italy, and the Netherlands, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, and the United Kingdom. It covers 84 demonstrations during 2009 and uh, 2013. This is the, uh, this is the descriptive statistic table. Among the 12,356 protesters in the data set, 17.87% are abandoned protesters. Compared to new and established protesters, abandoned protesters are older people from higher social classes with the highest proportion of voters in the last national election and a moderate level of engagement in contentious politics. In terms of social, um, social networks, abandoned protesters are moderately involved in formal organizations, but they have the smallest proportion of social movement organization members. For incentives, 
albeit protesters have the lowest grievances and the weakest perceived efficacy of achieving collective goals through participating in demonstrations. They have moderate level of perceived group and individual advocacy in politics, as well as moderate levels of left, left libertarian ideology and moral obligation. Table two presents the distribution of obeyant new and established protesters among the eight covered countries by the CCC project. While established protesters predominate all eight countries, the percent of obeyant protesters varies across countries. The Netherlands has the largest share of obeyant protesters, followed by Switzerland and Belgium. In Italy, only 7.94% of Soviet protesters are obeyant protesters, which is much less than other countries. This variation suggests that we need to control for dif between country differences in addition to examining both individual level and demonstration level factors in explaining individuals' pattern of protest participation. To examine the difference between obeyant protesters and new and established protesters, I applied two sets of three level multi-level logistic regression models. One set is to examine odds ratios of being an abandoned protester compared to being a new protester. The other side is to is estimate odds ratios of being an abandoned protester compared to being an established protester. For both sets of models, I start with the baseline model with only social demographic characteristics and political participation. Then I add other individual level factors related to par protest participation into the model. In the last model, I include demonstration level factors. Country level differences are co controlled across all models. Table three and table four show the results from the multi-level analysis. As you can see, this is table three, multi-level logistic regression of being an abundant protester compared to being a new protester. This is table four, multi-level logistic regression on being an abandoned protester compared to being an established protester. To make it easier to understand the results, I created this figure to summarize the odds ratios from the two sets of multi-level logistic regressions. This is the odds ratio comparisons between model three from uh, table, table one and model six from table two. The blue dots are the odds ratios of being an abandoned protester versus a new, pro new protester. The red dots are the odds ratios of being an abandoned protester versus an established protester. We can see that most pairs of odds ratios are both larger than one or smaller than one. This means that abandoned protesters are not simply a middle uh, abandoned protesters are not simply a middle category of protesters between new protesters and established protesters. Abandoned protesters are systematically different from the other two groups of demonstrators. To be more specific, we can see that Abandoned protesters are the most likely to be older um, people in higher social classes. They are the most likely to vote in the national election. They are the least involved in formal organizations and the least likely to be a member of the social movement organizations that staged the demonstration they are in. They have the lowest general and specific grievances. They have the highest group efficacy in politics and the lowest perceived demonstration efficacy. Abandoned protesters are moderate only in their experience in contentious politics, individual efficacy and ideologies. At the demonstration level, 
Abeyant protesters are more likely to be motivated by old social movements compared to new protesters, but they are less likely to be in old movements compared to established protesters. Moreover, abeyant protesters are the most likely to be motivated by larger scale static demonstrations with protest issues that are less salient in their country. Through this multi-level analysis, my study yields interesting findings for both the characteristics of abeyant protesters, as well as the type of demonstrations that tend to attract this unique group of people. Firstly, we know that abeyant protesters are very different from established protesters, but they are relatively similar to new protesters. In previous studies, scholars tend to put abeyant protesters and established protesters into the same category as experienced protesters, and they compare them to forced timers. My study shows that abeyant protesters and, and forced timers actually share a lot of similarities. And abeyant protesters are different from established protesters in almost all of their individual, individual level characteristics and the demonstrations that they tend to participate. Secondly, abeyant protesters is not simply a category in the middle. Abeyant protesters have some protest experience in the far past and they are inactive in the protest in the near past. They are in the middle between new and established protesters in terms of their pattern of participation. However, the findings of this study show that abeyant protesters have very unique and salient characteristics which systematically distinct them from new and established protesters. Thirdly, individuals' pattern of protest participation are impacted by individual level demonstration level and country level differences. Across the models, over 14% of chances of being an abeyant protester rather than a new protester is explained by between demonstration differences. Over 7% of such chances is explained by between country differences. Similarly, over 22% of the chances of being an abeyant protester compared to being an established protester is explained by between demonstration differences. Over 6% of such chances is explained by between country differences. The cross-national nature of the CCC data and its rich information about both demonstrations and demonstrations all make it possible for me to conduct a multi-level analysis of abeyant protesters. There's one more thing I want to add to my research. Because all the eight countries covered by the CCC data are from uh, Europe, in future study, we may benefit from a larger scale of service across nations that covering other countries in other areas. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>